Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about sand boa care a little bit and talk about these little creatures. I have two different types of sand boas. In here we have Kenyan sand boas. There's one of the faces of one of them. And as you can see, this one's a little bit more of a gray color. It is, is a little bit orangish. It's one of my larger ones, actually. Bring her up here so you can see her better. On top of the turtle tank. My birds get feathers all over, but this is one of the sand boas. This is a Kenyan sand boa. So you can see their color is usually an orange and a darker brownish or blackish, uh, like kind of striped or spotted or splotchy colors. Kenyan sand boas don't get too big, just a few feet. Uh, they're smaller than Indian smooth scale sand boas, which can get up to like four feet. Here's one of my Indian smooth scale sand boas, and this one is about to shed. She's a little bit darker than usual. She's usually a lot more orange. As you can see, she's a lot larger though than the Kenyan, but they get to be about four feet maximum. They're not huge snakes. And in my experience, sand boas have been pretty calm, tame, and easy to handle. Uh, my Indian smooth scales here had babies last year. This is, uh, I, I think this one's the female. I can't be sure which one's which because I didn't see it have babies. But when I got them, this was supposed to be the female. And then over here, oh, just got their dog, water all dirty. Here we have the male. He's a little smaller. He's almost as long now. He's a darker color. But I wanted to talk about these snakes because they're so easy to care for. Sand boas require no UVB lighting, no special lighting of any type. Uh, they can be kept in fairly small enclosures. A single sand boa, Kenyan sand boa, can be kept in about a 10 to 20 gallon aquarium. And an Indian smooth scale should have something a little bit bigger between a 20 and 30 gallon aquarium. About that size in terms of ground space. They really don't need much in their cage at all, other than a water dish and their bedding. Uh, I clean their cages about once a month only, but I do spot cleanings more often. I'll pull out the uh, shedding and I'll pull out you know little uh, you know dirtiness that's in there. But only about once a month do I do a full empty and refill. So it's very easy to clean, and when you only have to clean it once a month, it's also pretty cheap because the aspen you put in here once a month really doesn't cost that much at all. Uh, the Kenyan sand boas also very cheap on food. Uh, if you can find mice for a small price, it depends what pet store you buy from. Some cost, you know, five bucks and some cost one buck. So if you can find mice for a dollar, you can feed your snake for as little as two to three bucks a month. You're going to want to feed them about every ten days when they're adults, so like three mice a month and very simple and easy to care for. If they have a substrate in here, I use aspen. People usually don't recommend sand. Some people don't even recommend aspen, but I find sand or aspen works just fine for them. Even though they're called sand boas, they usually don't live in sand in the wild, but sand will work for their cage and lots of them like it. They like to burrow. I use aspen because it's a lot lighter. If I use sand, this tub would be very heavy. With Aspen, it's a lot lighter, easier to clean. I just empty it out and refill it once a month, like I said. With sand, it's more of a pain to clean as well. So I'd recommend something like Aspen or a different type of substrate of your choice. For temperature, uh, you need a temperature gradient in their cage. It's good for them to have, by gradient I mean it's, it's good for them to have a hot spot and then colder, 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 colder. I have my uh, snakes in this rack system here I got from Boafile and it has, we're not going to be able to see it no you're not going to be able to see it back in there but it has heat tape on every level across the back and my heat is controlled by this device and it keeps my heat of the back right around 90 degrees Fahrenheit so that means that the very back of their cage is 90 degrees and then as you get closer to the front, it's cooler and cooler and cooler. 
So they get to choose how hot they are. They get to choose if they want to be uh, in the hot spot or a little bit colder spot. After they eat, they might go in the hot spot for a couple days to help digest. Uh, when they're pregnant or gavid, they might go in the hotter spot. Uh, and then if they want to go in the cooler spot, they can. It's very important that your snakes have a temperature gradient so they can choose how hot they want to be. But these snakes, like I said, sand boas are great, easy to care for. They require no lighting. Pretty much all you need is somewhere between a 10 and 30 gallon tank. Of course, you can go bigger. You can give them a 40 gallon tank if you want. And if you have more than one, of course, bigger tank, the better. Uh, they can live together. Uh, I've had good uh, results. Uh, in my top Indian smooth scales, I got a male and a female together. And with my Kenyans down here, I got, as far as I know, one male and two females. I've only seen two of them. One of them's hiding somewhere else. But one of them is a little bitey. I know that this one's nice. One of them's a little bitey sometimes. So, well, this one's nice too. It's the other one that I don't see right now that's a little bitey. You see the difference in size here between these two. This one's a lot thicker. Actually, I'm hoping she's pregnant right now, but she might just be big, uh, a lot bigger, but I'm hoping she's pregnant. So, very cheap, uh, easy to care for. Like I said, all you need is a tank. Uh, you need a heat pad, and that's pretty much it. You need some substrate in there and a water dish, and then you feed them about three times a month. They're usually calm and easy to handle. And they're not too expensive for the Kenyans. Kenyans can run anywhere from 30 to 80 bucks, depending on the size, color, age. There's also different colorations. There's like a black and white coloration, and there's a couple other colorations. But for the standard ones, they're between 30 and 80 usually uh, at you know pet shops, animal expos, breeders, such as that. Indian smooth scale sambos like these guys, they're a little more expensive. They can range anywhere from 100 to 200. And the babies are very nice looking. As you can see, the adults are kind of a flat color. The male here is a little more, oops, male here is a little more brown and the female was a little more uh, orangish color. But the babies are a nice striped color and very, uh, very nice looking babies. They run from 100 to 200 though, per snake. But I just wanted to talk about these snakes. I've had some videos on them in the past. Just wanted to go over their care again and show you guys how they're doing. Let's see if I can find the third one, but I think the third one I'm kind of scared to find because he is a little bitey. There he is. Oh, he just went under. I don't want to chase him around too much because he's a little, I think he's a little bitey. Um, I'm going to try to pick him up for you guys. If I get bit, it's your fault. <laughs> here he is, here he is. I don't know where his head is yet. I'm trying to figure out where his head is so I can try to get him. Okay, I think I got him. There he is. So, there's the three sand boas. One, two, three. And they're all doing great. See, he's a little more, see how he just like flinched? He's a little more uh, squir uh, squirmish, I guess, or skittish. So, sometimes he might be a little more bitey just because he's scared not because he's a mean snake but you saw he kind of like flinched the other two are much more uh, calm and they don't really care when I touch them he's okay but he's more skittish he also seems to have a little bit different uh, feel to him he might be a, a mixed breed of some type because he's more shiny and more like smooth feeling than the others I think he might be some type of mixed breed I'm not sure though exactly but anyways just wanted to show that, like I said, and uh, if you guys got any questions about keeping sandboas, let me know. And uh, happy pet keeping.